Dandruff has been bothering you forever or at least seasonally. Here's firstly how you recognize what you have is actually dandruff. And then I will take you through how you can take care of the dandruff. So firstly, if you have a flaky scalp on the day of your hair wash, it is more likely to be just dry flaky skin and not dandruff. If you're flaking by the fourth or the fifth or sometimes even the sixth day of your hair wash, and when you scratch, there's a collection in your nail bed, then this could simply be a buildup of your own dead skin, of your own scalp secretions, which is your sebaceous gland. And that's what is actually getting into your nail. And that may not be dandruff at all. And you don't need an anti-dandruff shampoo for that. Now, most likely, when is it dandruff is on the second day of the bath or the third day of the bath, then you actually see flaking. Sometimes the flaking is so bad that it's even on your shirt and your shoulders. You could even see flaking itchiness and redness on your eyebrow, on the corner of your nose, maybe even in your on your beard. So then you know there is an infection there and that is dandruff. Now what is dandruff? It is just a normal commensal, which means to say the, the milieu, the, the germs that are all there on the scalp, which actually keeps the barrier protected. But one of them, the yeast, multiplies really too much and dominates and that becomes what you call it as a dandruff. What does it feed off? It feeds off your own fatty acid which is our secretion of the oil gland. So one most important thing to kill that dandruff is for you to keep your scalp really really clean, reduce the excessive oiliness on the scalp and third of course to use an anti-dandruff lotion or shampoo or sometimes if it is really severe and if it is chronic your doctor might even give you a pill to add on but you need to go to your doctor and make sure get the diagnosis first at an extreme level this could also be seborrheic or seboric dermatitis which means to say there is excessive oil there is not just infection there is also inflammation which is added on now it's become red sometimes even sensitive scalp and it really, really irritates you. That is seboric dermatitis. Now, seborrheic is when it is a borderline between seboria and psoriasis. Usually, a seboric dermatitis or seborrheic is on the nape of the neck, which means the hairline from the neck and the neck where it connects, it's there, and the hairline on the top. So, these are the two, two areas. It's more, it's not all over the scalp or it is sometimes just on one patch here or there. And it is intense. The scaling is a lot more just like dandruff and it's more sticky, more yellowy. And when you scratch it, you may even see small tiny blood spots under it. So that's when you definitely need to go to the doctor and just not simply continue your anti-dandruff therapy. What are the additional things you will see and then you may know that it is dandruff? Is sometimes acne on your back, folliculitis on your back and your butt both. And also acne on your forehead when you are younger. That's when you see maybe there is a bad scalp, dirty scalp or a dandruff laden scalp. Uh, in addition, like I said, there could be a scratchy, red, flaky borders or the crease of your nose on the brow. These are areas that you need to also check. Diabetes. In elderly also make sure the sugars are in check. So that can also lead to a prolonged dandruff which is more irritant, irritant for them of course. How do you treat dandruff? Like I said, either it is a shampoo, it is an overnight lotion because shampoo only stays for five minutes on your scalp, right? Sometimes it's not enough. So you may need a lotion to apply overnight to keep it so it actually works on the yeast properly. And then if it is serious, then your doctor will, or chronic, which means it stayed again and again and again, keeps repeating, doctor will give you an anti-dandruff tablet. So this the doctor has to give, you can't do it on your own. How do you use the shampoo at home? You can actually, you're supposed to wash every day. Because every 24 hours, if you hit it, is when the dandruff may actually go away. So you use an anti-dandruff shampoo once in three days, it's not going to work. You need to use it every day, at least for the first 10 days to 20 days. So you apply the dandruff shampoo only on your scalp. Massage, massage, massage a little, lather it, leave it for 5 to 10 minutes because it has to work on your scalp. And then you wash it away. And now I told you that you need to wash it every day, right? So people who have dry hair don't get really worried. Wash just the scalp every day. You don't have to shampoo your hair. And the days that you want to shampoo your scalp and your hair, 
you wash the scalp with your anti dandruff shampoo and then you use the shampoo your hair with whatever your hair stylist is given or whatever is your favorite shampoo that you like which may be color protectant protectant which may be bond repairing any of those right so this is what you do if you need to condition after the shampooing you can absolutely condition your hair but don't touch the conditioner to your scalp at all so this is how you will take care of your dandruff any more questions keep posting 